G'day guys. Check out this flash new October some friends got me. I'm a real fair dinkum Aussie now. <laughs> anyway, probably about, oh, let's say three years ago, I ripped out my back seats and I've never looked back. Why is that you might wonder? Because I made this, the cupboard. So uh, I never really carry more than two people in the car, if that. So the back seats were kind of wasted space for me. There's all this foam there, you can't utilize the full area. And I was like, let's chuck them out. Let's see if I can make something that works for me better. So, made the cupboard, and I'll show you all about it. Man, I was half thinking I should rip off the door to make this video. Probably be a bit easier, but anyway, the cupboard. It's uh, got two levels. It's got an internal light in the top on a magnet switch. That's kind of more recent addition. Just makes it so much easier to find stuff at night. And uh, the top is pretty much just a food storage area. And the bottom I pretty much keep, uh, well, I'll show you actually. It's a perfect spot to keep the camp oven. I love these Anderson extension leads. So they're like your normal extension leads at home, except for 12 volts, so you can run power anywhere. So like when I'm putting my solar panels out, use those. Paper towels, toilet paper, 12 volt shower, food storage containers, spare gas just in case the big bottle runs out, power board for the inverter, a bunch of other Anderson style adapters. So yeah, it's a pretty handy little area to keep things, especially the camp oven, because the camp oven's just so big and bulky. Just trying to find somewhere to keep it is a pain in the butt, but just fits in nice there. Now the top, the food storage area, I've actually built it in so that it's self-stocking. So all you gotta do is think about what you want in there, close the door, and it's there. I'll show you. And then you just open it up and hey presto, everything that you wanted is there and packed. Uh, it's a pretty handy feature, and it just gets billed straight to your credit card, so it's pretty nifty. On top of the cupboard here, this is a really handy storage area. Um, there's two straps to secure things because anything up here is gonna hit you in the back of the noggin if you have a bad crash or a rollover. And uh, I usually do keep lightweight stuff up here like sleeping bags, pillows, um, the drone backpack as well. It's just a really nifty spot. Also the solar panels. That's a little 80 watt solar panel. So if I'm camping for more than one night, I'll generally set that up, but that pretty much lives up here. Behind the driver's seat, the cupboard's become a really good spot to mount some of my electronics. Um, got an Anderson plug here that feeds my little Waco fridge freezer that sits in the back here normally. 300 watt inverter just for charging batteries and a few other bits and pieces. And just a Siggy plug. And the cell fire range booster as well. I'm just testing that at the moment, but that thing is awesome. Definitely going to make a video on that soon. But all of this is run from the two deep cycle batteries in the back of the tray and it's just a neat little spot because I don't know where I'd mount this stuff otherwise but it's just worked out well. Alrighty, hopping over to the other side of the car. This area is not terribly exciting really, it's just a flat storage area. There's a lip here to stop things going flying forward and I've got a couple of eyelets here as well. On bigger trips I usually have a couple of containers in here and I strap them down so they don't go flying everywhere. I've left one of the seat belts in here. So that in case of an emergency, you could transport three people if you had to. It wouldn't be comfortable, but you know, if you have to, you have to, don't you? Well, that pretty much sums up the cupboard. I mean, so far it's survived the Kimberley and the Pilbara. It's been on some pretty rubbish roads, so pretty stoked that it hasn't fallen apart yet. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you in the next video, eh? I hope people realise that it's not actually self-stocking. Be nice if it was though.